YouTube, welcome to this next installment of the Evian blog. Today we're going to look at something a little bit different, uh, the MESR100 ESR meter. Um, you may ask what is an ESR meter used for? Basically an ESR meter is used to test the equivalence series resistance of a capacitor or the internal resistance of a capacitor when AC is applied to it. Um, this basically gives us an indication if the resistance is below certain levels that the capacitor is good and if it's above a certain level the capacitor is bad. So the simplest way of looking at it is to, th th there's basically a table, a guide table that gives you an idea of what the maximum resistance is and based on that table if the capacitor measures a, any value that's above that resistance then you know that the capacitor is bad and it's time to change it out. Now ESR meter can be used quite nicely in conjunction with a standard multimeter which has a capacitance measuring facility which allows you to check your microfarads, millifarads, nanofarads etc and um, yeah it just makes it a whole lot of fun uh, and it makes the job a lot easier to actually diagnose faulty capacitors. So let's take a look at the MESR 100 meter. Right, so getting straight into the review of the MESR 100 ESR meter um, what you're seeing here is the meter as you get it. Uh, these are brought in from China um, comes with the test leads, uh, the meter, and uh, the meter does run on battery power. However, I've just found that using it on my power rail, on my workbench, easier. So what I basically do is I just power it up via a USB connector, and then uh, off it goes. Now, some may ask, why do you need an ESR meter? Is it really necessary in the electronics field? Well, yes and no, depending what you're doing. Um, an ESR meter is more of a a series resistance meter uh, or a capacitor's resistance meter. What it does is it checks the, uh, the internal resistance of the capacitor at its preset frequency. Um, if the resistance is too high, then generally that means that the capacitor is bad, whether it looks bad or not. Um, we're not talking now about the microfarad or millifarad or nanofarad rating of the capacitor. We're talking about the actual internal resistance of the capacitor. Um, so what, what, what you'd basically do to test your capacitor is you would firstly take a capacitor such as this one over here. This is a 450 volt, 100 microfarad capacitor. Now, it probably won't have this sort of rating on it, but if you look here at a 100 microfarad capacitor, um, it should be less than 0 0.8 ohms. So just make sure your capacitor is discharged because there's a lot of potential in one of these. And then you can connect it up and you will get a reading 0 0.125, 0 0.119 ohms. So yes, this is much lower than the recommended maximum resistance uh, for this capacitor rating. It'll actually say you reference for 25 volt electrolytic capacitor good if microfarad is less than 1000 microfarads. Don't worry too much about that, kind of use the, the go-to guide and the various other references on the internet. So by judging from this, we can see that the capacitor is good. So now I've got a few bad caps over here which have been replaced in various electronics items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, what a bad cap would generally look like on the ESR meter. I just have to find the correct bad cap. Right, let's check this one over here. This one is swollen so it's bad whether it was bad or not on the ESR meter I'm not too sure. This one shows 450 microfarads, 25 volts. So on the reference over here we've got 470 microfarads and we said 25 volts so we should be less than 0 0.12 ohms so let's connect this up to the ESR meter now remember anything less than 0 0.12 ohms is fine so there you can see 1.17 ohms so straight away you can tell that this is a bad capacitor and needs to be replaced um, this is generally the case um, for, for testing caps to see uh, if they're still good and can be still used in the circuits. Um, if they're starting to creep high, it might be a good idea to replace them. Like this one is actually swollen, um, so it's definitely gone. Now, ESR meters, like I say, not many electronic shops do have them, but they are a very, very useful item for testing capacitors. Instead of just replacing all the capacitors and you might find half of them are good, this way you can actually test them all and see which ones are still good and which ones are, are bad. You can use this in conjunction with your standard um, capacitance tester as in your microfarad, millifarad testers, just to check if you're getting roughly where the capacitor is rated, if that's all correct. 
Um, yeah, there's not much to these meters except for the basics of using them. The unit that I got has an issue whereby if you switch it off, it says goodbye and shuts down. But as soon as you let go, it powers back up again. Um, hence why I also run it on the power supply instead of on batteries. Besides that, it's been good. One more thing before we go. When, before you use these meters, it's a good idea to short the leads out and then zero the meter so that it reads zero ohms on, on short and now it's ready to be used. So do I recommend getting one of these MESR 100 ESR meters? Yes, certainly. They're quite useful for, for capacitance testing. Thanks for watching, guys.